What's going on guys? We are back at it again here in Costa Rica. We are just loading up the boat this morning. Joe's feeling a little bit better. He's coming with today. But look at this, we got the big gear out. Today we're gonna start the day offshore. Hopefully we're gonna spend the entire day offshore. We'll see how the day goes, but what we're targeting today are sailfish and marlin. And uh, this could be an amazing fishing adventure. So look at this, this is pretty crazy. Beautiful blue sky, nice white fluffy clouds. Looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day. Then you turn around and see where we're heading and we're gonna die. So, little fun factoid here, this is the furthest out in the ocean that I've ever been. We are probably 30 miles out, maybe more, maybe less, I don't know. But man, you cannot get any more offshore than this. Well, I suppose you can, but um... anyway, we're going to gear up, we're going to start fishing here. Man, it is starting to pour out here, we're right in the middle of this huge cell, but the crew is setting up the lines here. All right, so the crew has the line set up, and the next thing you guys are gonna hear is fish on. Joe, this is all about you. You get the first one. Oh, we got two. We got doubles. Is there only one or is there two? Oh, nice jump. All right, so this is what you call chaos fishing right now. We've got lines crossed all over the place. We've got a big Dorado jumping out there. So this is now really crazy. We've got yet another one on. Joe is sitting in the chair, fighting this one. I'm fighting this one by hand. Oh my God, this one's not coming in. Come on, Joe. I know, right? <laughs> Man, we are gonna get drenched out here. Yeah, I am under him. I'm gonna go right down under. He's gonna hold his rod up. I'm gonna hold my rod down. Good God, man. All right, we got lines tangled up. I'm gonna move over here. Man, the rain is just pouring. I'm gonna continue the fight from over on this side. Oh yeah! Man, this guy is just not coming up. Man, whatever I got down here is anchored. I am just not moving this guy. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. All right, here comes Charles. Oh, he's gonna cross my line again. Grab that. This is utter chaos. There's crisscrossing lines. All right, you ready? Here we go. Joe, you got a nice mahi on. And it is just downpouring out here. We're totally soaked. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Holy shit, I just almost slipped right overboard. It is hard to stand and fight these giant mahis in the rain. The deck is completely wet and slippery. <laughs> nice jump! Woohoo! I don't know if you guys can see this, but my arm is wrapped around this ladder here <laughs> so that I don't fall overboard while well, I'm standing here trying to fight this giant Dorado that is just not moving. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Alright, here comes Joe's. Ah! Do you snap? Ooh. Oh, nuts! All right, Joe lost his. I still got mine. Come on. You want to use the chair? Yep, I'm in the chair. All right, I'm coming down here. Thanks for warming it up, Joe. All right, here we go. Now I'm bringing this guy in. Joe, you want to continue reeling mine? You haven't caught one yet. All right, come on, you beast. Come on. All right, this guy is almost to the boat. Just a little further here. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. I see him. Get him. Oh! 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 
<laughs> Look at that. That is a big bull. Holy crap. Came out here for sailfish and marlins, but man, I will take a Dorado any day. These are one of my favorite saltwater fish to catch. And man, they put up such a good fight. Woo! All right, sorry. All sorry. right, there we go. All hogtied. Let's get some perspective on this guy. That is a big bull Dorado. Man, that was fun reeling in. But man, it is just downpouring out there. The ocean's getting really angry. And standing where Joe is standing, wrapping my arm around that ladder over there so that Joe could sit in the chair. Man, oh, I, I almost thought I was gonna go catch this fish bare hand in the ocean, but woo! All right, that is a good Dorado. Good first fish of the day. All right, my man. <laughs> Sorry you lost yours, but right. you could have reeled in mine, man. Yeah. But, you know, if we get one, we'll get another. Yep, we'll do more. Yeah, there's no sense in drying off now. No. <laughs> no. Now we just wait for the next one. That was awesome. It's kind of funny to watch the crew. They don't take a misstep. They're not being tossed around. Joe and I, you got <laughs> Joe and I are being like tossed all around like bobbers out here. We have no sea legs. That's pretty funny, actually. We are completely drenched, but man, this day has just started. Started with a really good Dorado. There is a sailfish and a marlin out there yet. Whew, we're gonna reset up the lines and get back out there. All right, here we go. Doubles again. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Whoa, Joe, you all right? <laughs> this is total chaos fishing right here. Man, Joe, that is a nice blue one. I'm concentrating on mine. <laughs> He's double hooked. Look at this. This is the first time I've ever seen one fish on two rods. That is insane. Look at that. Nice, Joe! Woo! Man, that's a nice bull! Holy crap! Man, this is absolute chaos. There are fish just everywhere. That guy is just not settling down. There we go. All right, I gotta get mine in now. Here we go, I'm bringing mine in. Joe's first Dorado, man, look at that. That thing is beautiful. That thing is nice and yellow with those blues how's it feel to get your first dorado pretty awesome yeah yeah man i just love how blue these dorados are in the pacific but as soon as you get them on board that blue dissipates but man seeing them out there like that i don't know i think they're a lot nicer than the atlantic dorados all right he's running he's running hang on he's got one final run in him man you can listen to that line sing like a guitar string all I'm doing is holding him right now while well, he takes a run. He's taking out all the line I just reeled in. Look at this. Look at that run. Holy crap. All I can do is hold him. All right, enough. Come on in. Oh, this is a good fish. This is a good fish. Yeah, it's like now pulling up just dead weight. He's on the surface now. Oh, this is a nice big bull. This is a nice big bull. I don't think this guy has another run in him. Man, this is a strong fish. Strong damn fish. All right, here we go, here we go. This fish ain't gonna make a third run. Oh man, he is gonna make another run. Damn, strong fish. Oh man. Is he gonna make another run? Man, I get him right up to the edge of the boat, ready to be gaffed. And he keeps making these runs. All right, here we go, here we go. We're gonna land this beast. Oh man, keep him away from the prop. Come on up here. gonna make another run. This is whacked. Oh 
nice jump. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. All right, we're close, we're close, we're close. And he makes another run. Jeez. Let's do this again, fish. Jeez. This is the strongest mahi I've ever fought. This guy's made four or five runs so far. This guy just will not give up. This Dorado thinks it's a marlin. Fighting a mahi in a downpour. You gotta love it. Good thing I brought my raincoat, which is back there nice and dry in the cabin. Here we go, here we go, here we go. He's coming up, he's coming up. This is either the toughest Dorado I've ever fought or the biggest. Here he comes. Yes! Oh, holy crap. Oh man, is that a tough fish. Whoa! <laughs> and look at this. That fish is no bigger than the two others that we pulled in. But this one gave a fight that was longer than both of these fish put together. Woo! Man, that is three bowls in a row. Look at this. That is a it's not a it's a decent bowl, but it's not a huge bowl for the fight that he put up. Man, all right. I salute you, you magnificent bastard. Woo! Man, I'll tell you, that was one hell of a fight. And again, that Dorado was no bigger than the other two that we caught. But, man, he put up a fight that was like that huge mahi I caught off the coast of Miami, that 55-incher. I thought he was a much bigger fish. Oh, man. All right. I need to sit down and dry off for a while. That ruled. Woo! Fish in Costa Rica. You gotta love it. All right, if I can be Professor Dave for just a second, if you ever notice when he catch Dorado, they turn this ugly brown color almost right away. Look at that one. But that one still has whites and blues on it. And the reason why is because the xanophores, which are the yellow skin pigment, are the yeah. first of the skin pigments to die when a fish dies. And therefore that yellow pigment is obviously reduced if the yellow pigments are no longer present in the coloration of the fish and therefore that's why these dorado turn brown like this and depending on how much xanophores the fish has they'll either turn white and blue like that or they'll turn brown like this all right this sea's getting ugly i gotta get back all right so we're uh about uh 20 minutes after we caught those dorados this sea is getting really really rough it's really dangerous to move around this boat i don't know if you guys can see this on the horizon but we are literally surrounded by thunderstorms all around us i don't know how much longer we'll be able to stay out here the captain may call at any moment it's getting dangerous for us to walk around this boat so we've got to stay planted and if it's dangerous for us to walk around this boat well it's going to be even more dangerous for us to reel in any big fish we might catch so We'll see what happens, but yeah, it's getting really bad out here. Well, all right, so we're 30 miles out now, and if we got to go back, um, yeah, it's and the we'll weather, be back. Weather is really bad. You can't yeah, run. I know, I know, uh, exactly. You normally do, you know. All right, so normally if, it would take you like hour, hour and ten minutes. Okay, so if uh, we head back now, can we salvage the day by doing some inshore fishing where it's a little bit more calm by shore? You know, we'll be we, there by... We, we can see if it's a little bit more calm in shore, but the, I see the weather is getting worse and worse. More, uh, uh, normally in the morning weather. Like Dave, I'm not going to be yeah. ready. I'm not going to be able to... Go in know, shore? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I just... Okay. And I won't... Uh, I'm not yeah. going to tomorrow. Oh, oh, it, was, it was like maybe 12, 15 boats out today. Yeah. And we still out here only four. Or yeah, they, yeah. All the rest of the people, they, they, they go do, back. Yeah. yeah, they've already gone back. Yeah. yeah. So out of 12 boats, we're, we're one of four that yeah. braved it and stayed out here. Yeah. So the rest <laughs> went back. All right. Yeah. Well. Hey, you see, the morning was really flat. You know, a little. Yeah, little yeah. Wave, but all right. But well. The waves go down. So well, we can just go back and see it, how much time we got left. So we can try a little bit. Let's do that. Maybe we can go back to the marina and then salvage the day going to, uh, inshore. Okay. All right, let's try that. All right, guys, so there you have it. Uh, that was the captain, and he's called it. So 12 boats went out this morning. 
we're one of four that remained out here in this and the weather is just supposed to get worse and worse so we got to head back in joe's not doing so well over there nope. yeah so anyway we're gonna head back to the marina hopefully we're gonna get back in time to do a little offshore fishing but if not this could be the end of our fishing adventure out here it's just too dangerous to be out here as much as I'd like to stay, but I don't know. Four boats stayed out here out of 12, that's gotta tell you something. So we're gonna wrap it up and head back in right now. All right guys, so after about an hour and a half ride back in, we are now going to target inshore species. Man, it was really rough out there, but uh, you can see out there that, man, it is just a wall of rain coming down out there. That's exactly where we were. If we had stayed out there, seriously, it would have been bad news. But we're gonna go with lighter fishing tackle. We're gonna use some sardines, some look downs. But once again, like yesterday, we're gonna target rooster fish. Hopefully I land one this time. But maybe we'll get into a Spanish mackerel or two. There's snappers out here, red snappers, Colbera snappers out here. There's a lot of species that you can get in short. All right, we got a big rooster on here. Come on, Joe, succeed where I have failed. Oh, we're gonna get him, we're gonna get him. Rooster on board. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Yes. Awesome, my man. Oh. So I've missed three of these things and you reel that in with ease. That is awesome. Man, the thing I love most about these, the thing that everybody loves about these is that dorsal fin. That is just cool. Look at that fish. Get her back in the water. All right, here we go. One. That is for the rooster come tire. We need the waters coming the gills. There he goes. That's fantastic. All right, my man. Woo, nicely done. Nicely done. All right, guys, so that's the end of our day out here. We fished for about maybe another hour after Joe caught my rooster fish. But man, today was an awesome day, even though, man, the weather was just not on our side. But we got three big bull mahi mahis, finally got a rooster fish on the boat. Man, you know, a lot of other people may be disappointed with a day like today, just getting rained out. The promise of sailfish, marlin, that we didn't get. but. Listen, the captain was smart enough to say we got to go in and get out of that storm that's coming. If I was the captain, I would have just said, screw it. I want a marlin and then, well, we'd all be on the bottom of the ocean right now. But anyway, tomorrow is our last day here in Costa Rica fishing. And then I go and film a bunch of videos for Reptile Adventures, which is going to be awesome. So anyway, until tomorrow's fishing adventure, fish the planet and rattle on.